Kevin De Bruyne, Manchester City have players who can score with their eyes closed. Maybe blindfolding Pep Guardiola's City slickers might give the rest a chance. De Bruyne revealed not scoring in a game doesn't really enter their heads. Guardiola's side really do hit the net with alarming regularity and although it was just the three this time, it did the trick. They are unbeaten in 15 games this season and have served up a feast of goals 35 in 10 Premier League outings. It's scarier than a trick or treat clown. But De Bruyne says those backing them to go through the campaign undefeated might just lose their money. He said, I think we go out knowing we will create chances, as long as we do that we'll always score goals because we have guys who can score with their eyes closed. So we'll have a chance of winning. I think we go out knowing we will create chances, as long as we do that we'll always score goals because we have guys who can score with their eyes closed Manchester City star Kevin De Bruyne to go unbeaten? Well, it's very hard. I don't think it will be possible. Every game is hard and you need to be mentally there. And with the Champions League and all the Cups, there will be a game that we maybe lose. Pep's boys never looked in danger of losing this though they had their nose bloodied a couple of times along the way as the battling baggies scrapped it out. Tony Pula's side actually missed a couple of decent chances as well but so did City so a 6-3 score line wouldn't have looked out of place. This was a game where Albion could quite easily have taken a battering given current form. They didn't, but defender Kieran Gibbs says Manchester City might just be the best he's seen. The England defender said, I think so. Collectively they are strong everywhere. It's tough to play against. The way they move the ball, the way the players move position. It's so hard to keep track. West Brom deserve great credit for their performance. When Leroy Sane put City ahead after just 10 minutes, you feared the worst. But within minutes Albion got level through Jay Rodriguez only to fall behind again instantly when Fernandinho sent one into the net via former City teammate Gareth Barry. Once City added a third through Subrahim Sterling there was no real way back but Albion kept fighting and got another in stoppage time through Matt Phillips. That's nine without a win for Pula's side and they now face a testing run of fixtures which could make life twitchy. It's Huddersfield away next week followed by games against Chelsea. Spurs and Newcastle. Gibbs admits it's time to get cracking and not get dragged down near the bottom. He added, next week is really important, just before the international break, so we need to make sure we're all fully focused. Huddersfield is not an easy place to go so we have to be ready for that then Ray group over the international break. So, are the baggies worried that they could be right in the relegation mix come Christmas? I haven't sensed that. I think the boys are getting on with it and waiting for the luck to turn and for chances to go our way. West Brom 3-5-2, Foster 7, McCauley 6 Phillips 68, 6, Hagazi 6. Evan 7, Nyam 7, Krykoiak 6 McLean 81, Barry 6, Livermore 6, Gibbs 7, Rodriguez 7, Rondon 7 Robson Kenya 58, 6. 
Subs, Mihail, Jakob, Brand, Chatley. Up next, Huddersfield A, Premier League, Saturday. Man City 4-3-3, Walker 7, Stones 7, Otamendi 6, Delph 7, Fernandino 8, De Bruyne 8, D Silva 7, B Silva 7, Sterling 61, 7, Jesus 8, Gundog in 82, Sane 8. Subs, Bravo, Danilo, Agaro, Mangala, Tour. Up next, Napoli A, Champions League, Wednesday referee, Mike Jones 8 your turn, who is the last man to have scored a hat-trick in a City v Albion game. Star man, Leroy Sane, class act star shocker, Ahmed Hagazi, struggled match rating 3.